gloomy times as far as the COVID-19 pandemic is concerned. This organisation has provided a couple of young rising stars and certainly they're shining brightly, such as Grace Panella, Seton Grimer and the latest addition, Mason Beresford. And I caught up with Mason 24 hours after he had his successful venture to Menangle. Well, Mason, the first thing that impressed me about your drive with Slingshot on Monday afternoon was the fact that you look very cool, calm and collected as if you belong there in the big time. Yeah, he's a nice horse. It's just a good opportunity. Now, over the concluding stages, you worked three wide into the death and you hit the lead at the 200. And over the concluding stages, you just kept focused. There was no looking around to see where the opposition were. No, oh, because they slowed up at the back there, so I thought it got a good opportunity to head up to the front. Yeah, and over that concluding stages, there was no tendency to see how far you were in front. You know, there was no excitement there. You looked pretty cool. No, yeah, he just pulled away from them. It went really well. Oh, he's trained by Craig Cross, of course, Luke McCarthy involvement as well. How did you become associated with the two most powerful people in the hardest racing in this state? Oh, uh, well, um, just kind of like asked Luke if I would come out for a week, like for experience, and then he ended up offering me a job, so been there ever since. Mason, you're a product of the Mini Trotters Association of, and you won two titles, very important ones, an Inter Dominion and a Miracle Mile at this particular venue. Yeah, that, that was good like experience to win those big races on the minis. Sir Dudley and Pay the Aces will certainly be a big part of what's going to go ahead for you because they were the pair that gave you the grounding. Yeah, like it's good to have good horses like in the minis. It just really gets you ready for the big ones kind of. Mason, you also won the New South Wales title and you defeated your sister Jayla on that particular occasion. Yeah, <laughs> just us two just battling it out all the time. And coming through that Mitty Trotters ranks, we've seen Grace Pinella and also Seaton Grimer. So it's certainly a very strong period as far as the young kids are concerned. Yeah, it is. Now what's the future hold for you? Do you wish to continue on in harness racing as a full-time profession? Of course, you come from a harness racing family. Yeah, I'd like to be a full-time driver if I could. It'd be great. And over the concluding stages here, we heard the family cheering very loud because your father, Paul, and your mother, at least we're here along with other family members. Uh, just mum and dad and my sister watching. I think they got more thrill out of it than you did. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mason, it's been good to meet you. Hopefully this is the start of what's going to be a very big career course. That was your very first drive. How were the nerves pre-race, Monday, so Sunday night is concerned, Monday morning? Any jitters? Yeah, it's just looking at the fields, just thinking what I could do. I was a bit nervous, but once you're out there, it's a bit different. Just get ready. I bet when you went around to the start and Todd Clark, the starter, called the field in behind the mobile and you're looking around, you've gone from the mini trotters, I know you won an Inter Dominion and Miracle Mile, but to be in the big time now, it must have been surreal. Oh, it's just couldn't believe it. like, this is actually happening. <laughs> well, Mason, you're one for one. Let's hope the success continues well into your career now. Yeah, thank you.